Hello everyone and welcome. We're back in the Goblin Caves. I'm running some Slayer Fighter in a normal lobby and it feels good to be back. I got unexpectedly detoured away from the game over the last couple weeks due to a real life roller coaster that included traveling out of state for an unexpected funeral uh, and just real life getting in the way. Uh, but I'm back and I'm trying a different format today. Uh, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the PvE action here to focus on the PvP. Um, there is less of that in the Goblin Caves, just a heads up. Uh, I have not played in a couple weeks, and so a lot of these changes are kind of new to me, and I'm still kind of getting used to the new pace of Goblin Caves. And, I don't know, maybe I became addicted uh, to the fast-paced, constant action of the deathmatch mode that this was before on a 3v3 map. Uh, but uh, it's big again. Iron Mace is once again talking about opening up multiple queues for multiple maps, so we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but let's talk about the build. So this is the build we're running today. We're running Sword Mastery, Combo Attack, Dual Wield, and Slayer. And as always, we're running Second Wind and Sprint. So Koopa, you might ask, why are you in the Goblin Caves? Why are you running normal lobbies? Uh, I'm a little rusty. I've been kind of on again, off again since the wipe, uh, and I feel like I've just, I'm super rusty. Uh, my skills aren't very sharp, taking a lot of damage to PvE, quite embarrassingly. And, uh, you know, as to why I'm not playing my bard, uh, the my three-man team, the Amigos, uh, are pretty much taking a break right now, so I'm on my lonesome, and I don't really know what I want to level. I've got a bunch of characters to 15 or 20, um, and... So I just figured I'd get on the warrior, uh, the fighter. It's pretty straightforward, and I'll try to shake some of that rust off. The quest system, I really like what they've done with it, but I feel a little overwhelmed. I feel like I'm behind for some reason, like on all of my characters. Uh, and so I just hopped in here to do a couple of the quests. I think I need to kill spiders, which I just did. I think I need to kill goblin mages. I think I need player kills, maybe extractions from Goblin Caves. I don't know. The way they fragmented the quest system, they split it up into chapters, which I think is great. I like the trickle feed uh, that Iron Mace is doing with the quest system. I heard something behind me here. And yeah, there's a barbarian. Uh, so he got the jump on me. I need to break contact. So that's what sprints for. He got his cooldown up before I did. He was able to initiate before I did. I need to break contact. Drink a protection pot. Make sure my crossbow's loaded. I'm gonna shoot at him. Okay, well, if he's gonna let me reset, I'm gonna reset. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, search kit. Lucky find. Yeah, I'm in normals. It's kind of a different game at this point. I played a, a bunch of high roller uh, prior to this and I just wasn't feeling it. I was feeling really rusty. Like, if he's going to let me reset, I'm going to go ahead and get a fire off instead of using the surge. And that's what I do. Let's go find that barbarian. Now the second wind's back up. I'm completely reset. I, I, I don't know why he backed off. Like, nine times out of ten, the barb will keep pushing, particularly when they sense weakness, but maybe he was low and he was bluffing? I don't really know, but I'm looking for him. Yeah, so I was in High Roller. I just felt really rusty, so I said, you know, let's just go knock out some quests. Back to being overwhelmed by the new quest system. Like, I, I don't know what I'm working on. I keep for, I switch between characters. I lose track of, you know, what I need to be searching for, what, what zones I need to be running. Um, I don't know. I think a quest tracker would go a long way to helping me with this incomplete quest anxiety I've got. Now, so here's your tip of the day. If you're playing solo, always try to play around shrines. Right now, here I'm operating around this protection shrine, and I've got the heal shrine right around the corner. I'm looking for that barbarian. I have no idea where he went. I haven't heard anything, but, you know, with the new creep system, I'm just super paranoid. Like, I'm always concerned that I'm being snuck up on, or that somebody snuck away and is hiding around the corner. Uh, yeah. So this build today is inspired by the lore. If you haven't checked him out, you should check him out on YouTube. And I think he's streaming on Twitch now. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, so I watched a couple of his videos while I was on the road. And uh, it inspired me to come back and play a little bit more Slayer. So I've got the army sword in the main hand. I've got the Castellan dagger in the off hand. I think this is my last goblin mage for the kill goblin mage quests. 
And there it is. Somebody sprinted behind me. PDR fighter. Oh, missing that falchion swing right there was key. I'm going to finish you with the dagger. Yeah. Close one. All right. Reset before looting. Second tip of today. Always reset before you loot. Whoa. This kid had all the treasure. That's all right. I'll take it. Wow. He's been busy. A lot of blue, a lot of purple treasure here. I mean, for this being normals. That is one of the changes they made a couple weeks back. They increased the loot quality uh, in normals, and uh, it's very noticeable. So good job, Iron Mace. That will allow us to complete that stupid bangle quest. And, whoa, okay. Epic necklace. Not something you expect to see in normals. But I'll take it. There are the stats. Not that great. But yeah, first run out of the way. Let's see what else is in store for us today. Okay, run two. Here we go. Goblin Cave, same build, same gear, same everything. Guys, let me know in the comments if you prefer the new format, which is more edited around uh, the action, the PvP fights. Uh, I just... Trying something different. I imagine if you're a long-time viewer, you're probably tired of watching me clear the same PvE content poorly in the way that I have in the past. Uh, but regardless, yeah, let me know in the comments, and I will respond to your wishes. So, here we go. Let's break some boxes. I'm going to skip through all of that. Now, I've cleared a couple modules at this point, and I hear somebody operating very close by behind me at this point in the jail in the goblin caves like i was saying earlier i'm super paranoid now because of the new creep mechanic so yeah i for sure hear somebody in there they're fighting a goblin let's go through the checklist protection potion down the hatch gonna go ahead and open the door which he's probably going to hear but then i'm going to sneak in He's being quiet, too. Yep, there he is. Alright, why don't I miss the easiest crossbow shot of my life? But... Let's see, it's a little late on his second win there. Had he popped that earlier, it might have been a closer fight. Regardless, on my way back up the ramp, I, I told you I was rusty. I'm going to go ahead and pop second wind and then smash every box in this room in an attempt to find a fire. Every box. There's like 12 boxes in here and three or four barrels. I smash all of them, find no fires. So I'm sweating not having my second wind at this point. Uh, what are you to do? Except go back out to that other box you didn't loot a second ago and find a fire. God loves the Irish. Here we go. Fire time. Yeah, when you're playing fighter, it, it's really important. Get your second wind back if you can. I usually come in with a fire, but I just... I was moving too fast between games and I forgot. But I hear stuff going on around the corner. So, we're running silent. I'm fully reset. I'm ready to take whatever we've got here. There's definitely two people fighting. Sounds like a mage and a something else. Melee. Alright. That was a good shot if I do say so myself. Well, the mage is low. I'm assuming the barbarian at this point is low. I need that mage kill for a quest. I'm glad I got it. Now, speaking of popping second wind late, I popped mine really late. As a matter of fact, I actually popped it when I was coming around the corner, but it didn't trigger. It's been happening more and more to me. Okay, so... Hindsight being what it is, I hear this bard operating behind me while I'm surging, and the gate opened. I was concerned that had I pushed the barb there, then I would have killed the barb, and then the bard would have come around the corner and ended me. So I chickened out, take the extract, bird in the hand and all that. Got some quest credit, got some quest items. On to the next action. So for game three... I realized I'm getting bored of Goblin Caves. And it, I may just be bored with Goblin Caves, like, as a whole. But I have some quests to go scout locations in the crypts. So 
Here we go. Howling Crips, 1v3. Now, if you've ever tried this before, it can be either a lot of fun or incredibly unfun, depending on the kind of luck of the draw that you get while you're in here. But uh, I have a pretty good lucky match here. Uh, once again, some rules like, uh, you know, to consider if you're playing solo 1v3, uh, have a plan. Always have an escape route. Always play around shrines. Uh, they're going to help you a lot. Uh, but in this match, I get to take on a three-man team, I get to take on a solo, and I get to narrowly avoid another three-man team that ends, ends up running me down. So, you know, I've had a couple people ask me in the comments of other videos, you know, what are some really good tips uh, that I should focus on as a new player? And I'm here to tell you, you know, the mechanics are going to come over time. The thing that you should be focused on, on in every game that you're playing is trying to learn the maps. Map knowledge is what's going to allow you to win a lot of these encounters, particularly when you're outgeared or outmanned. Good map knowledge is really going to come in clutch. Um, second thing to kind of think about is if you're playing normals, uh, when you spawn in, beeline toward the closest mummy spawn you can find. Uh, mummies, their new loot table is amazing. They drop tons of rings, tons of necklaces bandages if you didn't bring enough for yourself uh, so here i am i've spawned up i've gained access to a shrine i have a couple of different ways i can fall back uh, and i am going to fight some mummies this next room has three four five mummy spawns i just want to try to avoid pulling the champ until i know that i'm in the clear uh, but yeah this is really manageable uh, solo you can pop up a couple of these guys pull them over here and if you don't feel like you're up to fighting them heads up, then you've got a couple traps you can play around as well. So, really useful tip. Once again, guys, I hope you're enjoying the new format. Uh, comment below, please, yay or nay, if you're enjoying it or not. I know it's hopping around, and I know you're used to watching full game plays of the whole map. I just heard somebody open that door on the far side. Uh, yeah, and we got players there. I'm not really sure what I'm facing besides a warlock and a barbarian at this point block the door, let them deal with that PvE, and I gotta get out of here. I pop second wind, I pop sprint, uh, and let's go. It looks like they spawned over here and already cleared out these two modules. That's great. They can deal with that gate again. I'm interested in breaking contact as my number one priority. When you are running in a situation like this, what you want to do ideally is put a bunch of mobs between you and the people who are pursuing you. So that's what I'm thinking about right now. I'm thinking about the map. That was a great shadow bolt. Nice job. Um, it was a bad shot. They have a ranger, they have a warlock, and they have a barbarian. All right, so I know this map pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and drop down here, spawn up these enemies, and there's a nice safe spot right up here in the corner where they can't quite path to. And they're on the other side of that wall right now. So I'm going to try to get a cheeky reset off here while... Uh, they have to clear all that PvE that I've created for them. <laughs> One of the skeletons was able to hit me through the floor there. That's never happened before. Uh, but yeah, let's top off real fast and then see where we go from here. Now, ideally, in this scenario, I'd like to isolate either the Warlock or the Ranger. The Barbarian's going to be thick. Uh, and the time to kill on him is going to be long. I'm hoping that... In my experience, most barbarians are a little hot to trot, so he may hop down there and start dealing with those guys right away. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about a fire here. If I've got enough time to be able to pull it off and get my second wind back, it would certainly give me a lot more comfort. But they sound like they're really close. They're right under me. Somebody's right under me. Uh, and so that's just not going to work. Let's pop a protection pot and go see who's still upstairs. Somebody's dropped down, which I know I'm going to be facing a 2v1 instead of a 2v3. The barbarian doesn't know that I'm here, and oh, he's going to drop in that hole. That leaves me alone with the ranger. Perfect. The ranger's isolated. He wants to trade. This is not a good trade for you. If you have to pull out the spear in that situation, you've already lost. All right, one down, two to go. They're going to be figuring out that I'm above them. Their ranger's probably typing furiously or speaking on Discord. Ooh, nice juke on that shadow bolt, if I do say so myself. This mummy's been following me for like a half an hour. Uh, I'll leave it for those guys to deal with. 
still thinking about resets. Still thinking about getting my second wind back. But I need to be at half health for the fire to completely heal me. Let's pop this shrine in case I gotta do more running. But it sounds kind of like they've broken off contact. The circle is pushing, so they're probably a little unnerved by the closing circle. And they may not choose to come this way. I'm gonna try to get a fire off. And I do. Fantastic. Alright, fully reset. Let's go find those guys. I've turned a 3v1 situation into a 2v1 situation. Let's see if I can make this happen. Okay, they are not here. I don't hear anything. I'm going to try to find the circle. I can barely see it at this point. I know this is clear. Maybe they went this way. No, that mummy is persistent, I swear. Skelly champion still over there in the corner. He can just stay there. Don't want anything to do with him. All right, well, it looks like I've lost these guys. I have no treasure. I've barely killed any PvE. But that's just somehow uh, how it goes sometimes. Did I mention earlier to you guys that I was rusty? Because I feel super rusty in this game in particular. Obviously, the, the adrenaline is up a little bit from having, uh, you know, successfully killed that ranger out from under his two teammates. But I'm real curious. I really like to fight those guys again. I don't hear them this way. And I really don't want to go through there. Continue to move inwards towards the center of the circle. Gonna go ahead and top off from where I took a ding from that uh, spy hander. Yeah, I've been kind of missing the threes since the Amigos have been out of action. Uh, I've been missing Howling Crips. I, uh, I'm probably going to run some more Frost Caves, too. I haven't been back in there since uh, since going out of town. I know they mentioned earlier, I think, uh, on, on their Discord, Iron Mace may adjust the number of mobs uh, to make it more solo-friendly. I really wish they wouldn't. Now, obviously, I've got a lot of experience with the game, but um, I really like the density in Crips. I like the density in... Uh, ice caverns. Uh, I don't really want them toning that down. I don't know. We'll see. But one thing they definitely need to do is make warlock stuff quieter. You can hear them from a mile away. I get a phone call right here, which is why I'm pausing overly long to evaluate those boots, which are definitely an upgrade. Uh, but um, I'm already hearing warlock stuff going on in the room to my left from forever away. And I'm only hearing Warlock stuff, and that's a pretty busy room, so I'm going to assume that he's by himself. Let's go see what's up and see if that static exit is up. Oh, i got a fixed portal here. And I've got the static. All right, well, let's go ahead and take out this Warlock then. Hit with the crossbow bolt, he lands curse. He pops it. Whoop, somebody's coming in the room. I hear that door opening, and I'm out. I just fed that warlock to that three-man team. Let's see how it works out for him. Before I can get to him, he's already dead. So this team, uh, Slayer, Wizard, and something else. Let's find that team I was fighting earlier. Let's see where they're at. Well, there's the Barbarian. I guess his Warlock buddy died, and I, of course, killed the Ranger. Oh, it's not good for you, Chief. Don't go in there. There's nothing for you in there except more mobs. Oh, schmucks. This is not going to end well. Well, anyway, I hope this has been a nice change of pace for you. Once again, I did make it out. Um, I did... Get some action here in the crypts. I think I'm going to try playing some more asymmetrical Dark and Darker. Some 1v2 and 1v3 
kind of fights while I'm continuing to work on these quests, because this was a lot of fun. Really got the blood pumping. Uh, plus, I missed these zones, like just soloing in goblin caves. I guess I'm getting bored of goblin caves, y'all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like the new uh, format in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe. It helps me a ton. Uh, until next time, Koopa out.